Hi, I'm John Mullaney. I'm here to do a Tumblr answer time and to answer your questions to promote my new special, Kid Gorgeous, at Radio City on Netflix. I flew in from Jacksonville, Florida a few hours ago, and I have not slept much. Let's get to the questions. My reaction if a 25-year-old came at me like that would be, uh, relax, young man. Just stop getting so worked up about everything. Also, why are you wearing a suit? Who the hell do you think you are? Does pineapple belong on pizza? This is a controversial topic. I don't like mixing textures. Pizza to me is hot bread sauce, pineapple, cold fruit juice. I personally don't like pineapple pizza, but who am I to tell you to stop eating it? If you're starting out in stand-up, I would encourage you to start your own show at a small club or at a bar. Go to the owner and say, can I do a comedy night here? And then invite everyone you know, and then you host the comedy night. And all your friends will come, and the owner will think that you have a lot of fans, and that this is a good business enterprise for the owner. And then you will have a show there, and you will have a place to perform every single week. And then other people will do your show, and then they might start their own shows, and you can ask them to be a comic on their shows. And then you'll just be doing a lot of shows, and you'll be a, a comedian. For the second part of that question, how is Petunia doing? She's doing great. The other day, she took a big straw hat from my wife, and then she guarded it for a half hour. Now this is a catch-all answer to a question that uh, uh, roughly a thousand of you asked. In a special, I said that I was 12 when I found out that Princess Diana had died with her lover, Dodi Al-Fayed. Many people have done research and found out that I was actually 15 the day that Princess Diana died. You are correct, I was 15. I said I was 12 because I didn't think about it in the moment and didn't really care. Uh, I often say that something happened five years ago when it happened 10 years ago. Or I say I'll be there in five minutes when I'm not gonna be there for an hour. I just throw numbers out sometimes. There's also been concern that I said I was in Wisconsin when I found out that Princess Diana died. And many of you have pointed out that I grew up in Chicago, not Wisconsin. So how could I have been in Wisconsin? I'll tell you, my family was in Wisconsin because it's not that far from Chicago. Nick Kroll and I argue about magicians. He uh, does not like magicians. I love magicians. I asked him once, what is your problem with magicians? And he said, it's that they trick you. He finds it dishonest. I think that's the whole point, is that they trick you, because they're magicians. But it's really a tomato tomato thing at this point. How would my life differ if I had played Kevin McAllister? For one, we would have been robbed of Macaulay Culkin's performance in Home Alone, which is genuinely fantastic. And he was not nominated for an Academy Award for that role, and that is truly a crime. He carries the whole movie, and he's like seven years old. Had I played Kevin McAllister, I don't think the movie could have played out as it does, setting booby traps and trying to catch the burglars that way. I was. Uh, a, a bit more boring and a bit more pragmatic as a kid. I probably just would have alerted the authorities that uh, two people were trying to break into the house and then I would have, uh, you know, hid in my mother's closet crying for a while.
Um, I don't feel that it's a hypothetical. I'm, I'm certain there will be a biopic at some point. I think it should be called, uh, what are you so upset about? And it should star Liam Neeson as me. And he'll play it with the same intensity that he brought to Taken and that other movie where he's on a train and he has to do stuff on the train. And he'll be John Mulaney and he'll just be screaming like Liam Neeson and everyone will go, what are you so upset about? Everything's fine. I think that'd be a good movie. I think Liam Neeson could bring to life the I intensity and exasperation that I feel over everyday things. Uh, in movies like Taken, he's normally upset about his daughter or wife being taken, um, but I believe he could bring that to the mundane. And Liam Neeson plus the mundane is John Mulaney. What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a terrible song. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you. It's intolerable. It's an intolerable song. I didn't even realize that when we did that jukebox prank that we had picked just the most untenable song. You, you can't function when it's playing. I would love to come to dinner, and I thank your mom very much for saying that I'm a nice man. And if it's okay, when I come to dinner, could I sit at the head of the table, and could we all join hands, and I will lead us in a long and complicated grace. One that includes all faiths and creeds and non-creeds. Like creator or non-creator of this bountiful food we are about to receive through eating. We thank ye for the sun rising in the morning. And at night, the sun's friend, the moon, comes out. Two best friends, both circles in the sky, shining down on us. And sometimes stars, but not often, because of all the pollution. We also thank ye for fish, who swim in the ocean, and sometimes lakes. This next question is, what is my favorite Stefan joke? Um, of all of the hundreds of weird references in Stefan's, my favorite was uh, three screaming babies in Mozart wigs. That made my wife laugh the most, and uh, that is a personal favorite of mine. I can, I can just picture it. Do I have a favorite fan interaction story? Yes, I do. Someone once came up to me and said, I saw you in Philadelphia on acid. I don't know why you'd take acid to see me. I I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Uh, it doesn't seem like the type of show you'd want to be on acid for. Uh, I just stand there and talk, but if it worked for you, man, God bless. Did I ever go back to the salt and pepper diner? Oh, yes. We kept going to the salt and pepper diner until we were about 16 years old. And then we were sitting in a booth there and one of my friends decided to light a joint and start smoking it at the booth in the diner. And uh, the waitress came up to us and I believe she said, guys. and then we were banned. Don't do a lot of drugs. Do you know what I mean? I would avoid mushrooms, um, unless you love laughing. I took mushrooms uh, and I went to see David Bowie, who is and is my absolute favorite musician. Why ruin it with mushrooms, John? I don't know. I made a lot of bad choices. I get to the David Bowie concert, I eat them, it's like 3 p.m. And I ask someone, uh, they're starting to kick in. I ask someone, when's David Bowie go on? And they said, he doesn't go on till tonight. This is a music festival. There's a bunch of different performers. And I said, well, who's on stage now? And they said, Busta Rhymes. And if you're hallucinating pretty hard and you were expecting to see David Bowie, 
One of the more shocking things would be to be at a Busta Rhymes concert. I tripped so hard that afternoon. I remember watching this woman eat a hot dog over a garbage can, and I was staring at her like, like it was the Mona Lisa. Yeah, you got to avoid drugs.